Let's say you are going to have a face-to-face -face meeting with a prospect, or this is the first time you are having that client meeting. What are some of the things that you could say to make sure that that meeting is successful or goes the way that you want? Today, I'm going to teach you five most powerful sales questions ever that you could use in a client meeting. Now you have to understand this when you are meeting face to face with a client. Now we're not just talking about closing on the phone. When you are sitting down face to face, belly to belly, toe to toe with a client or multiple clients or prospects, knowing that your body language also comes into play. So the way you present yourself, the way that you dress, all that makes a difference. But today we're gonna just focus on the question. Most salespeople, they make this mistake that they let their guards down, meaning that they think, oh, I'm meeting face to face with a client. It's already a done deal. No, it's not. Just because you're meeting face to face with a client or prospect, it doesn't mean that you've already closed the deal. In fact, if anything, you need to be even more cautious when you're meeting face to face. The second thing you need to pay attention to is, what is the outcome that you want, right? Most salespeople, they go into a meeting without a clear outcome and they think that if they do a good job delivering a lot of data, giving them a lot of information that naturally they will want to buy. That's not the case at all. You need to set the tone and set the agenda in the beginning. So at the end, so the closing part or signing the deal, that becomes a very, very natural conclusion of what should happen next. But you need to be very, very strategic about it. So question number one, and that is this, what motivate you to meet with us today? That's it. What motivate you to meet with us today? Now, why is that question so powerful? Because that question gives you some information, some intel. It, it tells you what are their motives, right? Why, it's, it's just like, why are we having this meeting today? Instead of asking that way, it's, so what motivate you to have this particular meeting? Or what motivate you to have this meeting today? Then the prospect would do 80, 90% of the talking. And what you should do is now taking notes, paying attention. What are they saying? And let them talk, don't interrupt them, let them talk. Let them talk for five, 10 minutes. Let them talk, and then you pay attention. The second question that you could ask is this, exactly what are we trying to accomplish today here? That's a very powerful question. See how that is very, very outcome driven? It's very goal oriented, exactly. I like to use the word exactly. What are we trying to accomplish here today? And boom, again, a simple question, open-ended question, let your prospect talk. Let them talk 80, 90% of the time. And the third question that I like to use all the time, especially if I am doing any kind of consulting or brainstorming kind of work, I would have a big whiteboard kind of maybe behind me right here. And then I would ask this question, where are you today and where do you want to be? Now that question is so powerful because it tells me exactly what's the status of the company, right? Where are they are? What, what are their frustrations? What are the pain points? And then where do they want to be? Where do you want to be a year from now, two years from now? Write their goal. What I want to do is I want to present my product, my service, my solution, my system as the bridge between where they are to where they want to go. You see that that's the gap. But my product and my service should be right there, the bridge, the perfect solution to help them to get from here to there. Instead of just you talking about how good your product is, how good your service is, and, and, and how long have you been in business, your track record and all that, much better to ask them, where are you now and where do you want to be? And again, you let them talk. The fourth question you could ask is, what seems to be the problem? And how long have you had this problem? Now that question tells you everything you need to know. What seems to be the problem? Remember, as closer, what we do is we are problem solvers. If it's a good fit, we go for it. If it's not a good fit, it's okay to say no. So it's very, very important to know what are their frustrations, right? What keeps them awake at night? What, what are those pain points? We need to know. Remember, there's no pain, there is no sale. So what seems to be the problem? And how long have you had this problem? 
And they might reply, oh, our problem is A, B, C, and D. And we've had that problem for more than three years now. And we've tried different vendors and we couldn't solve the problem. And you're taking notes, perfect. That tells you how you need to sell and how you need to position your product as the perfect solution. Question number five, and this is my favorite of them all. And that is this, if this meeting accomplished everything you could possibly hope for, what would that look like? See, this question paints a picture in the prospect's mind. Yeah, what would that look like? Hmm, and they would give you the criteria. How do you make sure that this is a successful meeting? And they'll tell you, well, I would love to walk away with a step-by-step -step plan, okay? What else? Well, I would love to have maybe two or three concrete strategies that would help me solve this kind of problem. All right, okay. And I would like to know exactly how you would help us and help a company uh, in the long term. Okay, no problem, I could do that. Simple question. See, all these simple but powerful questions are designed for one thing and one thing only, and that's to have a deep understanding of what your prospect is looking for during that meeting. So next time, when you're in a face-to-face -face meeting, your first prospect meeting, test them out. These five powerful questions and comment below and let me know how that works for you. If this is the first time you're watching my video, welcome to my channel. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification and also comment below and let me know what other challenges you have when it comes to closing and sales. And if the questions are good, I'll be more than happy to take some of those questions and answer that in a future video. So stay tuned.